while you all are sitting at the table having Thanksgiving dinner, Tamir will not be with us. There's a seat empty at our table that can never be replaced. So while you're at the table having dinner with your family, I want you to say a prayer. You may not even have to mean it, but just say a prayer for that little boy and his family. White supremacy, uh, these police officers watching us to make the wrong move. White supremacy is the lack of conscience these officers feel for the murder of Tamir Rice. White supremacy is Frank Jackson not being able to look Samaria Rice in the eye. White supremacy are the police officers living in one neighborhood on the west side of Cleveland, oh, no, protecting right. themselves and not black people. White supremacy is Steve Loomis meeting with Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani. White supremacy is Donald Trump winning the state of Ohio. White supremacy is Hillary Clinton incarcerating black and brown folks. White supremacy is how we all are able to go home to our family and not be missing a loved one by state sanctioned violence. marshal should be here and notify that the commander of this precinct has locked and chained the door. Good evening everyone. Good evening. Good evening. And thanks for coming out. I'm here to update you all because the city of Cleveland has failed you. Also I have no trust in the United States government will intervene on behalf of my family and others. Yeah, we got you. We got you. These two years have felt like hell and many sleepless nights. When I close my eyes to try to get some rest, all I can see is my son being shot. Yes. Could you imagine that being you? For the first time, Frank Jackson looked me in my eyes after two years, and all he could say is a process. Mm. It's a process. Mm. It's a process. No. How can I trust Frank Jackson's process, which allows allow my son's killers to be police officers? Yeah. I am disgusted, and I have no trust for Frank Jackson's process. But what does bring me some peace is the love that I have for my children. Yes. And the mission of the Tamir Rice Foundation. Talk about it. That is the work that will save our babies. That's why my first demand is immediate firing of the officers, which is still working in this building behind yes. us. Yes. My son's murder was able to happen under the Obama administration. And I expect the Obama administration to give me justice. Yes, yes. yes. My third demand. The incoming Cuyahoga prosecutor, Mike O'Malley, to charge Tim Loma and Frank Grandbeck with aggravated murder. Yes. 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 Let's have it. The people voted you in, and they will vote you out. Yes. Talk about Thank it. You. That stands for all public officials that fail to give the people of the people of the city of Cleveland accountability. My fourth demand is that the city of Cleveland reallocate some of their police budget yes. to right. Cleveland Public Schools. Yes. 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 Because police does not equal safety yes. for our babies. If we want safer communities, we must invest in our future, the youth. Yes. I just want to say that this has been very unbearable in the city of Cleveland how there is no uprise in this city, and this is an open carry state. You have many, many murders that happen under Obama administration, and many murders that happen under Governor Kasich, and just the, um, the surrounding cities 
in Ohio and nobody is saying anything about it, but I am here to say something about it. Yes. yes. Right. I am here to say something about it. We honor your leadership. It must stop. Yes. It must stop in the state of Ohio. This is an open carry state. My son could have had 12 guns spinning them around in a circle. You didn't even give him a chance. Yes. Okay, this is an open carry state. John Crawford should not be dead. Samuel DeBose should not be dead. Yes. Tyree King should not be dead. Talk yes. about it. Speak their name. I'm still waiting to get in contact with um, Tyree King's mom. I'm here for you. They should have immediately connected us. Yes. 12, 13-year-old uh, Tyree King and 12-year-old Tamir Rice, we should have been immediate connected. But you see how it works. They try to keep us apart. That's right. They, there's no reason why we should have dead babies in, in, in the state of Ohio okay. or in this country, which y'all call America. Yes. yes. Talk about it, Sam. I'm disgusted with America. I'm disgusted with this country. Two years too motherfucking long. Two years too long. I have no justice. Many, many sleepless nights. I don't know how they think I'm supposed to go on. I'm still raising children, yes. and I still have not had no sleep for the last two years. Yes. I'm asking Loretta Lynch, I know you guys are on y'all way out of office, but y'all need to handle this. I should not have to deal with no uh, with no Trump administration yes. because my son got murdered under the Obama administration. And it's sad to say that Obama or Loretta Lynch has not had the decency to meet with me face to face. Y'all making time for everybody else. I have the number one, I have the number one case in the world, in the nation, in America, across these seven continents. My, ch my child is being praised up in every other continent. And I know this for a fact. In Palestine. Palestine, China, UK, and everywhere else. I don't understand why they have not met with me because they must know I'm the truth. Mm. Let's be clear about that. Let's be clear. There will be no justice under the Trump administration in this country going forward. So anybody that has their case at the Department of Justice and it's not being seen by the end of this year, you could forget about it. And he should be reaching out to her considering that yeah. the failure of McGinty is the reason that Michael Malley has a job. That's right. I need, I need my demands met. I need the firing of these officers. Timothy Loma and Frank Granbeck should not be no officers in the city of Cleveland or no city at all. And you can't watch from home. You have to come out here and support her. Timothy Loma has a disturbed background. Frank Granbeck exhorted an African-American woman, woman two years ago. Can you please tell me why are they still working? I also need for the process of Frank Jackson, I need you to make sure that your process get these officers fired because you're coming up on election and trust me, you will be voted out of here. Yes. yes. Do yes. something, Frank. These police officers might think they're good cops. I don't believe in that. There's no such thing of being good for signing up for an institution that was created to hunt and kill black body. There is no good in signing up to be a part of an institution that was created to hunt slavery and kill black bodies. These crooked politicians and city officials within the city of Cleveland, black, white, Latino, whoever, continue to fail poor black and brown people. And you being a protector of this fascist state yes. makes you a representative of white supremacy. Yes. <laughs> they still think we're animals. We, they still think we're their property. They think they can put us into a box or a cage and make us be quiet. Yes, continue to clap, clap, yes, clap. And call your chief, tell him that we would like to talk to him while you're clapping over there.